Hi, I'm Larry Jansen with the UW Outreach School and I'm going to show you how to create units and content items in your online class or eCompanion. The course's three level hierarchy begins at the, with the course home and this is overarching the entire course. You can put content items in the course home that students then can easily access throughout the term. Under the course home, you can add units, creating divisions of your course. You can organize and title units however you want. Most instructors may organize their units in a timeline, often even naming the units as weeks, where each unit corresponds to a week of the semester. This arrangement provides a clear schedule to the course, but there are many other ways and combinations of ways to name and organize units. However you use units, provide students direction and overview in the unit introductory page, which is what you see here. Here in the content items is the substance of your course. Here is where students receive instruction, discuss in online discussions, explore content materials, and demonstrate their achievement of learning objectives. A wide variety of content types and learning activities can be created in content items. Online courses tend to be very text-based, but consider the possibilities of adding audio or video recordings. You may already have, have some instruction created in Microsoft Office documents, such as Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, or PowerPoint slideshows. You can directly upload these right into the course. Special content formats are then available for the threaded discussions and exams. Okay, you've endured my definitions and purposes of units and content items. Let's move into the mechanics of creating units and content items. Creating units and content items are tasks that you do in the author mode of the course. Select the author button at the top of the navigation panel and note that the panel changes from brown to gray and the main frame of the course uh, takes on a more technical appearance. Work at the hierarchy level above what you want to create. If you want to add a unit, position at the course home. If it's a content item you want to add, position at the unit that will contain the content item. So how do we do that? To create a unit, go to the course home, then course items, and add unit. Title the unit, and let's say that we want the title to be the tag over here in the navigation panel. So we select, use the title in the navigation menu, and then you select the content type, which would be either probably um, just text multimedia, which would be basically just creating a page right here in the course, or you can upload a Microsoft Office document. After you've made your selections, select Add Unit, and over here to the left, we have a new unit created. Okay, let's do that once more. To create a unit, you go to the Course Home, you select Course Items, Add Unit, title it, and this time let's not accept to use the title in the navigation menu and let's see what we end up with. We'll continue with a text multimedia page and we add that unit. So now over here on the left we have a unit 4. Well how did it get named unit 4? Well the system will assign a default title to a unit and then you know order those sequentially. So this is the fourth unit created so it becomes unit 4. Well, let's say that you like that idea of using sequence, but you don't like the word unit. How do you change that? You can go to the Course Admin tab, then go to General Information and Settings, and you have an option of a unit title or unit heading. Right now it's unit. Let's just change that to week. Save changes and note the changes from unit 4 to week four. Okay, but now let's say I don't want it there. I want it to be the first unit in the course. How do you change that? Well, you select the unit, 
then its toolbox, and then change week order. Select change week order, and so we want week four to be first. So we change that to one, and then just change the remaining units to follow in correct sequence. Click Save Changes and note week 4 then becomes week 1 because it's now the first unit. To create content items, you select the unit under where you want to add content items. So let's go to week 1 and then we add week content items and add items. You title that uh, content item and what we're going to do, we're going to have an introductory discussion so students will go into a threaded discussion and introduce themselves to their classmates. So if this is a threaded discussion then we want to select a content type of threaded discussion and we simply say add item and now under week one we have introductions okay so once more to create a content item you select the unit level select week content items add an item and then let's say this time we're going to ask them to write a brief profile of their um, professional goals and so forth and although they will write a paper to provide them instruction on that assignment we'll just again create a text multimedia page now notice down below here we have a couple checkoffs hide item from the students or create a Dropbox basket if you're creating a content item during the term when students are in the class sometimes you may want to work on that before you let them see that so you can select add hide items from students and you can also say create this as a Dropbox basket and then we say add items and so now we have introductions and profile and notice the asterisk following the profile and that indicates that this content item is hidden okay so that works but now you decide well no I want them to work on the profile first before they do their introductions so you want to reorder the order of the um, content items so you select the unit go into its toolbox and then you see change item order and so simply just reorder the sequence of the content items save changes and now profile is listed first well then you have second thought and you go well I don't even want that in week one I want that to be in the course home I want them to see that you know as soon as they come into the class well how would you move that out you select the content item itself go into its toolbox and then say move profile or whatever the name of the content item is and we click on move to and we'll select course home and save changes and now profile is listed under the course home okay finally I uh, just want to leave you with a few tips uh, the first is plan before you click uh, like building a house draw out your plan so that you'll know how many rooms you need how the rooms will be used and arranged and what will go on in each room so with pencil and paper or maybe a mind map sketch out an outline for your entire class how many units will you want what content and activities will be in each unit and so forth the next is to use consistent content item names if you're going to have a discussion for example every week name that discussion item in all the units in which it appears the same thing possibly just discussion you'll appreciate this later when you create your um, the grade book and next is to schedule the units or content items under the course admin and course scheduler 
and here you can schedule the opening and closing dates of units um, actual specific dates for uh, different learning activities the, the scheduling the course is becoming increasingly important and useful to students so be sure to do that either in course admin or you can do that specifically at the unit or the content item and then finally throughout this introduction have given you we've gone into the toolbox a few times and when you're building anything you didn't need to know what's in your toolbox so when you're stumped about how to fix or to change something with your units or content items go and check the toolbox so thank you I hope this introduction to creating units and content items has been helpful as you begin to develop your course Whenever you have questions, or more fun when you have ideas for your course, contact your Outreach School Instructional Support Team. Thanks.